Hello, third grade. Welcome to Thursday's ELA lesson video. We're reading a bit more about different traditions that families celebrate. This is an expository text, so that means that it is nonfiction. We're not reading a story, we're just reading information. So this is called Family Traditions. You look over here, you see an image that shows an example of family traditions. Families wear colorful costumes to celebrate Chinese New Year. Many different people live in the United States. Some come from other countries. Some groups have been here a long time. Each group has its special culture and traditions. So the word traditions, it just means this is something that there, there's some kind of celebration or some kind of activity that you do with your family at a certain time every year. So for example, um, an example of a Christmas tradition in America might be that we gather around a Christmas tree and open presents on Christmas morning. People want to keep traditions alive. They share them with their families. You can learn about people by looking at their traditions. Celebrating a new year. Chinese families celebrate Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year happens in January or February. So that's a little different from us. It lasts about two weeks. The holiday means that winter is ending, spring is on the way. So Chinese New Year has a way different meaning than what ours does because we celebrate ours on January 1st and it just means that we're starting a whole new year. The, uh, the traditions for Chinese New Year are very old. Adults give children bright red envelopes Red stands for good luck and happiness. The envelopes are full of good luck money. Oh, that must be nice. This holiday is also a time for feasts. Chinese families share sweet, smooth rice cakes. It's better than what it sounds. Some families eat a whole cooked fish. They give oranges as presents. They eat noodles too. These foods are symbols for a happy year and a long life. In most big cities, families watch the Chinese New Year Parade. Dragon dancers glide down the street. Lion dancers wear costumes in red, yellow, and green. Bands march by in rows. Their drums beat out happy tunes. People in traditional costumes go by on floats. They wave to the crowd, bang. Watch out for firecrackers. They are part of the tradition, too. Loud sounds are symbols of a joyful time of year. Going on to the next page. Families get together. Summer is a time for family reunions. Many African American families enjoy this tradition. Aunts, uncles, and cousins travel from far away. Family members play games together. They tell family stories. They share traditional foods such as barbecue, and homemade sweets. Sometimes there's a talent show. Family members often wear special t-shirts to show their pride. Reunions can last for three days. People fe feel sad when the reunion ends. Then planning begins for the next one. So here's a picture of what a family reunion might look like. This family enjoys traditional foods at their reunion. Okay. So I don't know if any of you have ever done a family reunion. I know mine has sometimes. We don't do it every year. Some families are very serious about their reunions, though. Storytelling and dance. Many Native American cultures have traditions of storytelling and dance. The stories are from long ago. Older people tell the stories to their children and grandchildren. They may use the culture's native language. The stories explain things in nature. They tell about the courage of early people. Some Native American groups get together in the summer. They meet at big powwows. These festivals celebrate culture through dance and music. Storytellers bring the old tales to life. The soft notes of a flute may help tell a story. The firm beat of a drum adds power. 
people from other cultures can watch and listen. Everyone enjoys the stories and learns about their traditions. So here are some pictures of what that might look like. Native American storytellers passed down tales from long ago. Traditions are everywhere. Traditions are a kind of glue. They hold families together. They make a culture strong. And traditions help us know the many people in the United States. Okay, so this was just a little bit about what traditions are and what they mean. There are all kinds of traditions. Families have different traditions, so do cultures. So think about what kind of traditions your own family might have. So I know mine, we have our own Christmas traditions. We visit family. We gather around the Christmas tree every morning. Um, we share stories. Uh, Thanksgiving is another tradition that a lot of families share. So, um, and that's a specifically an American tradition, I think. Um, we are the only ones who celebrate Thanksgiving. So that's just another example. Okay, so make sure that you answer the questions that go along with this small reading and submit on its learning.